Hey guys, Jane with the Summer Rain Channel. Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to make something really exciting. So it is something that I am new to making and I'm absolutely in love with it at the moment. So what I'm going to show you how to make is an emulsified body butter. Typically a body butter doesn't contain any water, but this one I add just a dollop of water in there and I add some stuff to create an emulsion and you get kind of like all of the benefits of a body butter without the greasy heaviness that typically comes with a body butter. I did put the full recipe down in the description box below. I also put a link to my blog. So on my blog, I go more in depth about what are the ingredients, why do you use them, what, what do you do if this happens? What do you do if that happens? I go way more in depth on the blog post than I do in these videos. So if you wanna dive a little bit deeper into your emulsified body butter, feel free to hop over to my blog and check that out for yourself. Without further ado, let's go ahead and learn how to make this whipped body butter. And I just kinda of wanna show you the consistency of it because I feel like even though I'm gonna show you in the video, I just cannot get over like the consistency of this body butter. So it is way thicker like than a lotion would be and it is also way thicker than like what a cream would be it is honestly the consistency of body butter like if you do a design in here it's gonna hold the shape I am way too amazed with this right now um, yeah let's just make it put your container on it and push the tear button this is gonna give you all zeros while your container is on the scale and what you're gonna do is go ahead and measure out each ingredient. So when you're making your own skincare, you wanna make sure that you always use a scale. And the reason why we use a scale is because we actually need the weight of something and you really can't do that by tablespoons or cups or units of measure like that. You actually do need a scale. The first thing that we're gonna do is the oil phase. So in here, we're gonna put our cocoa butter, cocum butter, emulsifying wax, acetyl alcohol, and our sapphire oil. And we're gonna set this off to the side just for one second. So we're gonna grab a heat safe container. We're gonna add distilled water. And to the distilled water, we are gonna go ahead and add our vegetable glycerin. And for the double boiler, what I do is I just take some pots and I put a little bit of water in them. And at the bottom, I have a silicone mat that I just cut up. And we're gonna place the water phase in one. In the other one, we're gonna place the oil phase. And we're gonna put both of these on the stove and we're gonna heat them until all of the oil phase is completely melted. And as you can see, I have both of these on a double boiler. So we have the water phase and the oil phase heating up at the same time. Now the reason why we do that, the reason why we have to heat the water is if you didn't, what'll happen is when you dump the oils in there, it's gonna turn into like a hard flaky substance on the top. So what we need is we need the oil phase and the water phase to be roughly the same temperature when we combine them together. So I like to just put them on at the same time because my water phase over here is a little bit smaller of a container, I'll normally turn that on just a little bit lower than what I put my oils on. And that way when we mix them together, they're gonna both be about the same temperature. And you don't have to mix the oils the entire time, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is stir them periodically until everything is melted in. And I just pulled these off the double boiler. When you pull them off, make sure that you grab like a dish towel and then you wipe all of the water off the outside of the container because you don't want that to get into your formula. Put my water phase in here. And then I'm also gonna pop in the oil phase. And as you can see, it turns like a cloudy white color right away. And then I'm gonna grab my immersion blender. Now this is very warm, so it hasn't thickened up yet. As you can tell, it's still very watery. So what we're gonna do is allow this to cool for a little bit and it will thicken up for us. So I've allowed this to sit for about five minutes and as you can see, it's really starting to thicken up and cool down. So to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add our fragrance oil. Now I'm using Nirvana fragrance oil, but you can use any one that you'd like. And at the same time, I'm gonna add our preservative. Now with this body butter, you do need a preservative because it contains water. So anytime you have a recipe 
that contains water, you have to make sure that you have a preservative in there. Otherwise, you're gonna grow some pretty nasty junk in there really quick. And what we're gonna do is we are just really gonna mix all of this in there very well. And we'll go ahead and put it into our container. And this stuff is so thick that it's pretty much holding its shape when I put it into the container. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making and using your body butter as much as I did. I think this is really gonna be a game changer for me come summertime because I love body butters. I am absolutely in love with them. But what I don't love is the fact that in the summertime they melt, so I can really only use them in the dead of winter. And I don't always love maybe the greasiness that they leave behind. Like the only time that I'm gonna use a body butter is right after I get out of the shower. That's because it's gonna hold in the water that's already on my skin. The cool thing about this is I can go ahead and put it on any time and it's way heavier than a lotion, but it doesn't feel super greasy. So I am super excited. If you try it out, if you've tried a body butter that is emulsified, let me know what you think of them down below. Like, are you as amazed as I am? Bye.